Welcome back to She Living. I am your host, Angela. And today I'm going to talk about completing people or competing with people. In today's um, atmosphere or in today's time, we all know that it's all about seeing who can get to the next level faster, seeing who can have the number one this, seeing who can have the most followers or the most money. It's all about seeing who can do more, who can do better. But who's to say what is better and what is more? So we're going to talk about completing people and not competing with them. In order to complete a person, that means you have to add to. That means you have to build up. That means you have to finish. Come on, people. So my first thing about completing people would just be simple as compliment them. You can see somebody uh, along uh, in passing and be like, man, I like that dress. Do you not know how that will finish someone's day? Do you not know how that will complete someone's day? If you say, I like your hairdo. I like those braids. I like that outfit. Oh, those shades are cute. I like those sunglasses. And most people, when you tell them that you like something about them, they automatically smile. They automatically be like, thank you. So that means you have finished something that's inside of you. You had completed something inside. Simple as a compliment. But what about if I'm trying to compete with them? If you see somebody wearing something a certain way and you go get it because you think that you're going to look better in it than them. That's not the way we suppo- we're supposed to complete each other. But listen, giving people compliments, encouraging, that's motivation. And in turn, it works as a boomerang. It works as a bounce back off. And that, that is what's going to happen. Even when I start going by my day, compliment. I love that car. Oh, your home is beautiful. So many times we go in other people's homes or see other people's homes. You want to fix your home up just like theirs. No. You compliment what God has did for people. And in return, God will do the same for you or even more. And I'm talking about a gentle, I mean, a genuine compliment, a genuine admiration, not an admiration of, of, I mean, not a, nope, because that's not an admiration, not words of, I I like that. That's nice. But in your heart, you know, you like, hmm, hmm, no. In your mind, you know, you're like, mm, that's cute. But in my, you might be like, how she get that? What she had to do to get that? Why I didn't get that? It's all about completing people. They, oh, that's why we're here, to serve others, to serve God. We're here to complete one another. We live in such a competitive world that we're afraid to give compliments. We're afraid to say, uh, wow, beautiful home. Wow, beautiful job. Especially in the arena or the industry that I am in as far as influencer and YouTuber and blogger. Everybody trying to get the next big brand deal, the next big amount of followers. Everybody trying to get the next. But if we all come together to complete each other, Man, she's doing a good job with her YouTube. Let me push this. Let me share this. Man, that blog that I read, it is on point. Let me share this so, so somebody else can um feed off it. So somebody else can digest it and get the same inspiration I got out of it. That's what completing a person means. You're adding to them. They started something and you're finishing it by helping them carrying it out. Come on, are y'all getting this? Are y'all getting this? Complimenting others is saying, I admire you. I admire you. I admire what you're doing. I admire what you are putting out in the world. I stand behind you. I agree. Well, two or three agree. I'm in agreement what you're doing, and I support you. 
It's not about you not being confident in who you are. It's not saying that you're not doing a good job. It's not saying that what video you post is not good. What job you're on is not good. What industry you work in is not good. It's just saying, sister, you're doing a good job. Brother, man, that's good. Compliment. Don't compete. Well, you don't have to compete. What God has for you is for you. Whatever you desire in your heart, pray to God and he will give it to you. We don't have to run around compete with our sister. We find so much of that going on. We find so much of envy, jealousy, and strife. Come together and complete one another. Come together and add to one another. And see how far you can go when you can uh, get a whole community of people. When you get a whole community of people that support each other. That love on each other. That believe each other. And you don't have to worry about the little pettiness. Oh, she didn't like my video. She didn't like my my blog. She didn't like my face. Oh, don't even say anything about Facebook. She didn't like my Facebook status. I know she's seen it. Maybe she didn't. Maybe she did. But you still complete and don't compete. If you like, if somebody didn't like yours, don't don't not be uh, petty and don't like theirs. If somebody did, uh, you feel like you really said something profound, profound, and you really believe it'll help somebody, and you feel like your family and friends just passed pass by and didn't even like it or nothing, because that's what I struggle with. I struggle with oh, that, did nobody really watch it? Did nobody really look at it? But the the person that it mattered to the person that needed to hear it, did. Complete. Don't compete. Complete people. Don't compete with them. Because once you find yourself competing, you're going to be longer for, to keep on doing it. You're going to be longer to keep on trying to catch up. You're going to be longer to keep on trying to, uh, what they say, keeping up with the Joneses. And we all know you can go broke. We're trying to keep up with the Joneses, the Jacksons, the James, the Jimmys, the Jans. You'll go broke trying to keep up with folk. Just stay in your lane and you worry about completing each other, complimenting each other, caring about each other, really being concerned about each other. Compliment. Care. Concern. All those things work with complete. Don't, don't compete. We don't have to compete. Our father has everything. The houses, the land, everything that you want is his. Everything that we have is his. Whatever you desire in your heart. You don't, you feel like somebody is prettier than you? No. No. Do what you need to do for you. Take care of you the best you can. Love on you the best you can. And when you love on you, you can love on people. When you, and, and don't get me wrong now. Compliment yourself. Come on. Compliment you. Man, I look good today. Man, I'm rocking this bun. Uh, I see you, little gray. Well, listen, that's cute. That's wisdom right there. I see you. I see this lipstick is popping. Oh, my nails. Not braggadocious. Just love on yourself and compliment yourself. And when you can do that, that when you can compliment each other. Compliment someone else. Love on something else. Love on someone else. Don't compete. Complete. This is how you complete one another. You compliment them. And you can you care about them. And you show genuine concern for them. And when you do that, you don't have to worry about competing with them. Because now you show so much compassion for them. Compliment. 
care, concern, and all that comes with compassion. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you so much. I hope I said something to inspire you, motivate you. Not to comp not to compete with anybody. You are who God says you are. And compliment them. And care about them. And be co genuinely concerned about them. And you show genuine compassion. I will see you in the next video. Bye.